Gail, can you please contact Doug and alert him that we need to have law enforcement remove right. somebody from the premises? Please turn your camera off. That's not gonna happen. Okay, then you need to leave. So did you um, get signed in because it's gonna print a badge for you and then all this Yeah, time? it's asking me to provide ID. This is not a building that's open to the public and you don't have permission to record me, but you do need to sign out. All right, appreciate it. Have a good day. Whom are you doing business with? The district. No, you need to leave. Who do you have an appointment with? Hold on a minute, you're counsel and you're an attorney? So counsel, we get on the whole limited public forum, we get on forum analysis, kind of jogging your memory back from school. Hey everyone, I am free. It's July 16th, 2024. I am in the city of Bellevue, King County, Washington State, heading to the Bellevue School District administra Administrative Building. I'm going there because I'm looking to get a public records request after the SCOTUS ruling from June 28th of this year in the city of Grants Pass. Uh, which is the big homeless case that had a ruling on and uh, it found that municipalities counties for districts in other words states can made out punishments consequences for homelessness I'm not taking a position on this I'm just stating a fact that is what the situation is for that they can effectively levy fines other consequences the Supreme Court of the United States found that it uh, that the case for what Grants Pass did in Oregon did not violate the Eighth Amendment the cruel and unusual amendment as most people think of it so I'm going here because I got reports that there is uh, that for the city of Bellevue they have quite a few locations some in the possession of the school district that they may want to have homeless people removed off of and i'm looking to see how many incidents that equates to and what the consequence might be so that's what i'm doing so while i've got your attention if you wouldn't mind liking sharing and subscribing hitting that all notifications bell so you can get my stories right in the release i'd greatly appreciate it Let's see if we can find the does it mention it now I do know where it is. It's around the corner. So, uh, if you want to follow me on social media, you can look for me on X at I Am Free Auditing. You can also find me on Facebook at Inland Auditing Media. And if you want to help keep my feet on the streets, you can do so by going to the links in the description for Cash App and Venmo. I'll see you guys over there in just a moment. to the administration bill so we can get a public permit request now. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, see if I can get a public records request for okay. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, could you repeat that one more time? Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm looking to get a public records request for Public mm -hmm. records request? Oh, sure. Let me Thanks. go ahead and um, grab. Sure. Sign in as a lobby guard, and then I'll go ahead and um, you mentioned the public records request. Just one yep. Moment. Sign in as a what? I'm sorry, what was that, sir? You wanted me to sign in as a what? Oh, as a visitor? Oh, I could have sworn you said something else. Uh, it's not really any of those. Yeah, 
I really don't know what to complete it as. It's uh, saying tour meeting or PTA. Oh, so I just say a meeting. Yeah. Do a meeting? I Sounds good. I'll be right with you. Thank you. And you mentioned, um, sorry, sorry, you mentioned a public records oh, request. Is it that you needed a form for the public records request? Uh, yeah, just a printed form. Okay, sure. Um, but I do apologize. I just came in for my doctor's appointment, so I just have to sign in. Hmm. Thank right. you. Yeah. yeah. I'll be able to print that for you. Okay. Sure. So did you um, get signed in because it's going to print a badge for you and then I'll just... Yeah, it's asking me to provide ID. So you can either pull out your ID and it just scans your license, license or you can say you don't have a license and enter your first name and last name. Yeah, there you go. And then I'll be with you in just a second. And then it will print out a temporary badge. You'll just wear that, have a seat here in our lobby. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to have you sign in on our lobby guard, but I'm going to go ahead and give this to you so you can go ahead and look at it, okay? Thank, Thank you. There you go. So just go ahead, have a seat. Uh, you can wear that. Please have a seat in our lobby, okay? Thank you. And then we'll have you sign in and um, go ahead and put the badge on as well. And then we'll search public records request on our Bellevue School District website, it actually shows um, submitting the form online. So we do have our computer lobby. If you'd like to take a look, I can show you what I've been looking at. I'm it's good. not a paper It's not a paper form. It actually looks like it's submitted online. Um, if you'd like to take a look, I can show you on this computer lobby. I'm good with just getting a blank piece of paper if you got one and a pen. I can do it that way. Um, sure, cool. I can do that. I'll All grab right. that. Thanks. Space to write it down or yeah, I'll use this in a minute. I'm just gonna get some photo or video and audio on here too. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. This is not a building that's open to the public and you don't have permission to record me. Please turn your camera off. That's not happening. Okay, then you need to leave. I'm here doing business. Uh, whom are you doing business with? The district. No, you need to leave. Who do you have an appointment with? Hold on a minute. Your counsel is and you're an attorney? I'm the general counsel of the district. How is it that Shannon is a constitutional law professor at the University of Washington's law school? How on earth is this even possible when she is saying things like, you don't have permission to record me in a public location? This is not a building that's open to the public unless you have a scheduled appointment with somebody. No, first of all, I came in, I got a badge. Please stop recording because this is not and a I'm doing a public records request, so let me be clear. The public records officer isn't here today, but Doesn't you can matter. go ahead and make your request, but you don't have the I can submit it. You need to reread 4256. Okay. <laughs> Subsection 4. You can go really ahead clear. and submit your public records really and hand it in, but you any do not office, have permission. Any department, division, bureau, commission, any of those. You, you can, can go, go ahead and make your public records act request, but you do not have to. permission to videotape. Absolutely, do. It's, it's, no, you don't. I you do. don't. This is not a public building that is open Look, to the public generally, so you can. I guess maybe you went to Seattle U or something. You were the C minus student. No. You, need to you can go, go ahead back. and be as provocative as you'd like, but if you don't turn off the camera... I'm going to turn it off. Okay. In no universe is that going to happen. Gail, can you please contact Doug and alert him that we need to have law enforcement remove right. somebody from the premises? Yeah, now that that's happening, I'm definitely not going to okay. leave because I don't want to make it seem like I'm running. 
that'd be bad. It's absolutely fine. But you don't have permission to videotape in, within this building. It's not a it's not a facility that's open to the public. Are you familiar with forum analysis? Did you did you skip yes, that class? Yes, and this is a closed forum. It's not a closed forum. We don't hold meetings here that are open to the public. Doors are open to the public. I can come in. You can do business at it's the front time, desk, place, but you do not have the ability to record in here. We don't allow absolutely for recording within this building. Absolutely, I can. No, you can't. Look. The Ninth Circuit's been really clear on this. The implications of Fordyce versus the city of Seattle, among many others. And Why don't you sit down and write out your Public Records Act request and I'll take it upstairs. How about you your own business? No, it's, okay. it is my business. It's not your business. If you're making a Public Records Act request, you can sit down and write I'll out your it. Public Records Act I'm not going to sit down like I'm your dog. You understand? Well, what do you plan to do? I'm going to fill it out however Great. I choose to do so. Great. Okay. And if you're not going to do that you really in the building in a non-disruptive way. Your attitude is terrible, you're unprofessional, you're rude, you're provocative, and you're escalating. You Actually, need to stop. you're the person who's been okay. provocative and escalating and making personal attacks on me. I'm just making it clear to you that you don't have the right to videotape within this building. It's Gandalf the White. Um, I, lovely choice for yourself. Thanks. If you want to make a Public Records Act request, you can absolutely feel free to do so. And I but can that record doesn't, my process doing it. You can absolutely record yourself writing it, but not this building. So please go ahead and do that. No. I'm okay. going to do it on my own time. Great. Okay. Then you can feel free to just, I'll stand here with you. Great. I'll wait here. And I'm, we, Who are you we, waiting We definitely for? wait for law enforcement. No, I asked for the head of security to come. I didn't ask for law enforcement. Gail, can you please contact Doug and alert him that we need to have law enforcement remove right. somebody from the premises? Called for law enforcement. Man. No, I just I recorded just, it. I just listened I to it. I asked that we might need to. Gail, can you please contact Doug and alert him that we need to have law enforcement remove right. somebody from the premises? Okay, well, let's, let's call him because no, I think you, you need to have an ahead. education. We're, we're happy to wait for you to write out your Public Records Act request. I'm going to wait for law enforcement. I don't well, want them to not, think... Okay, so you can just... Well... If you're, all you're going to do is fill out your Public Records Act request, let's go ahead and do that. And I can also gather video no. and audio content to this building. Here so, I am doing yeah. it. Well, you're doing so illegally in violation of the law, but... Gosh, you I guess you want. better get people over here with magic handcuffs then. No. You can go ahead and fill out your Public Records Act request, or you can sit here and wait and not videotape anybody without their permission. Ma'am. Because this is not an open, it is not a forum that's open to the public. And right it's now, a limited you're public forum. A it's a limited public forum. It's a limited no, it's public not. forum. It's not a non-public forum. It is not a, it is not a forum that we open for any purpose other than doing business with the district, and doing so does not require Ma'am, you must have a reporting. really high sense of self-confidence, right. though in error, to believe that you get to dictate how the First Amendment works. It's my building, I own it. It is not your building. It is. It is not your building. It's my building, it's your building, it's everyone else's building. We all pay for it, okay? You do not have a right to come into the building and be disruptive. As I'm not being doing, disruptive. But you are right now, but. You can't turn a liberty into a disruption, ma'am. You can't claim to have a First Amendment right that you don't have. All right, let's take a little bit more of a look. There's a 1992 case that I want to take a look at here. It's called State versus Blair. It's from the Washington Appellate Court. And at 68, the court states the following. The state may control the use of its property so long as the restriction is for a lawful, non-discriminatory purpose. And that's found from a 1966 federal case, Adderley versus Florida, in which it is quoted, the state, no less than a private owner of property, has power to preserve the property under its control for the use to which it is lawfully dedicated. Here, the Seattle Housing Authority is legislatively mandated to provide decent, safe, and sanitary dwellings for low-income individuals. That's found in RCW 35.82.020, Section 9. The Seattle Housing Authority's policy of restricting access to its property by excluding those engaging in illegal activities, Shannon, on the premises serves only to further this legislative mandate and therefore cannot be seen as discriminatory. Moreover, the Seattle Housing Authority is not operating the apartment complex for the general public, Shannon. Rather, it is providing housing for the residents of the complex. Thus, in attempting to discourage criminal activity by posting no trespassing signs, Shannon, the management of Roxbury Village is acting no differently than management of a privately owned apartment complex would act. In State v. Little, another Washington State appellate court the management of a publicly owned apartment complex took the steps taken by the SHA in this case to deal with problems of drug and gang activity. 
Although the complex was publicly owned, no issue was raised as to whether the management could legally restrict access to the premises. In his concurring opinion, Justice Guy observed that the complex was not open to the general public. Shannon. The location in which the appellants were stopped was enclosed property subject to flagrant and recurring criminal trespass. It was not a common thoroughfare or public street. Yet this place is open to the public. Shannon. Roxbury Village should not be viewed any differently than the public housing project in Little, just because it has not been enclosed with a Constantine or wire fence. The no trespassing signs were sufficient to inform people that the complex is not open to the general public absent an invitation from a resident to visit the premises. Now, also, Shannon made the comment that I had to have people's permission to record them. Well, if you look to RCW 9.73.030, which is titled Intercepting, Recording, or Divulging Private Communications, Consent Required Exceptions. It discusses private conversations. Well, if you're in public, as we've already established, because, I don't know, we watched myself enter and other people enter for business, the door's not locked, there's no signs that say no unauthorized personnel, there's no no trespassing signs, there's absolutely zero that restricts access, and thus, it's implied consent to enter, because... Gosh, it's a public building. So when we look at section one of the RCW 9.73, uh, which discusses private conversations, you can see the restrictions there. And if you go to section four, which is for journalists, you can see that just by simply, even for private communications, by simply just having your equipment readily available for people to see, it's considered consent given at that point. So. This is really clear cut. We know why Shannon didn't call the police and get them there to attempt to remove me because they never would have in any universe would they have ever removed me because there's no trespassing occurring here and it's open to the public for the places that I went to. Now, to be clear, if I had gone, let's say, into her office because she invited me there to discuss the uh, public records request or something and said, this is a non-public forum. You can't record in here. That's a totally different thing based on forum analysis as of right now. But we're happy to wait for you to fill out your Public Records Act request. And if you can manage to do that in a non-destructive way, happy to go ahead and turn that in. If you are here only to be a provocateur, that's also I'm a I'm not here to be a provocateur. Great. I'm here to fill this out. Great. But let me be clear. I am not going to heed your backs and your calls and your orders, okay? So you're here to fill out a public records request, but you're not going in to In my do own that. time, in okay. my, at my own speed. You don't need to do that in our building. Uh, okay. In your building? The B Bellevue School District's building. Yeah, who owns this, or who owns the lease to this building? The Bellevue School District. And who owns the Bellevue School District? The Bellevue School District is a quasi-municipal entity. You're and right. Class school district under the and the when it was Washington. brought into law, so are you going to that's fill out because your public the people pay the taxes for it. You, ma'am. Are you going to fill out your public but records I am, request or not? But I'm not going to do it at your pace. Okay, then you can feel free to leave. No. Okay, well, you have a choice. You can fill out your public records I will, request or you can I will. leave. I'm not going to leave, though. Okay. I will leave when I'm done filling it out. Great. I'm not going to sit down and do it at your orders or your becks and calls, okay? So okay. if you want to just sit here and be obstinate and rude and oh, unprofessional no, all day. I'm going to wait so that I can take it upstairs to the public records office because the public records officer is out, but I can drop it off at her office. Great. I guess we can sit here and have a chat for the rest of the day, no. and at some point I'll fill it out, and that'll be that. You're climbing the wrong mountain, man. You're climbing the wrong mountain. The view is not what you think it's going to be. You need to get in line, okay? You need to stop this. This kind of obstinate, rude, you're in charge behavior is unbelievable. It's incredulous that you would think the things that you think. Unbelievable. It's shocking. Why are you behaving like this? I'm waiting for you to fill out your Public Records Act request. Otherwise, I'm just going to sit here. All right. I guess we'll just sit here and have an OK Corral stare off or something. I'll fill it out at my leisure. Okay. All right. I do believe you made the right decision, though, when you said you're not going to have law enforcement show up, because only one of two things would have happened then. 
Maureen, could you yes. bring my computer down? Yes. I'm going to do some work while I'm sitting here. Sure. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I have to give you an A plus, though, in your obstance. It's, it's moving towards legendary at this point. I, I'm just patiently waiting for you to fill out your public records act request. I'm not going to engage with you otherwise. Sure. in which there's a uh, recording generally and you do not have my permission to record me. Ma'am, I realize you probably just integrated from Korea, and so I'm sure the whole freedom thing is probably a little <laughs> new to you, right? And I appreciate that that's probably I'm not going to engage with you with your provocative commentary about me personally. You can just take your time, write out whatever you want there we or go. not. Now see, that's, that's the kind of moving towards, trending towards more politeness. Again, feel free reasonable. to be as provocative as you would like. I'm not being provocative, ma'am. You're the one that came out and started spouting orders like you're in charge of everything. You're in charge of nothing. Okay? Gandalf the White, I'm patiently waiting for your Public Records Act request. I appreciate you patiently <laughs> waiting. Thank you. I'm a legendarily slow writer, so. It was just something I struggled with when I was a kid, so. It might be a while, ma'am. the directive stuff. You, I'll have to give it to her, okay? All right, now wait for your head of security and the police, so. You don't need to wait for that. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. All right. Now see, why couldn't we have just had that conversation and handled it that way initially? You know it's open to the public. You know it's a limited public forum. You can record in non-restricted spaces, and this is not restricted. Do you have a business card, Council? No, I don't. You don't? Are there any business cards for the superintendent or anyone that works? Do I have part? business cards for the superintendent? No. Do you have Are there business any cards? cards? I do not. However, um, it's all on the website. I do have. Yes, I do you have a license? That's fine. Okay. I, I don't have, I've never had business cards. Okay. So there's one to our. Uh, Thanks. Street. Okay. Appreciate it. So, Council, are we good on the whole limited public forum? We're good on forum analysis, kind of jogging your memory back from school? I'm sorry, I, I, you've turned in your public records after request. I have no yeah, I'm just need. asking a public servant no, some questions. I have no need to engage with you further. Have a good day. You're done. It's pretty rude. Oh, I'd like to have you sign out with your badge. Sure. Yeah, just, um, you bet. Take off your sticky badge and you put it right here and it just scans you out of our system. Oh, gotcha. I am actually.
very attached to this at this point, so I'm going to keep the badge. You can keep it, you just need to scan it first. Gotcha. Yeah. So yeah, you just take it off and then you just put it right yeah, in. I'm it afraid it's going to affect the take, You can feel free to take your vest off and hold it under as well. Yeah. Or you can scooch down, but you do need to sign out. All right. Appreciate it. Have a good day. You can scan out. You can scan out. You need to go out. He's going to refuse to do it. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, I can take you out of the system. That was not in any way what I expected from there. I was going in to get a public records request done for a Bellevue school district regarding homeless individuals on campus properties for the school district. And the council turns into an absolute maniac. Wow. And then, you know, had to call her on her bluff. That is just shameful that she's an attorney. I mean, I am just shocked by that. That behavior is not only reprehensible for any public servant, but for the fact that she's an attorney. And look how she actually backed off at the end. They're not having security come over. They're not having the police come over. She was just completely bull crapping. That's all it was. That is literally all it was. That's absolutely incredible that they would behave like that. Um, wow, definitely gonna have to have a revisit at some point because that is just shockingly bad behavior. Um, but I've got my records request in, so that's good. Um, obviously council knew her place and uh, bent the knee, if you will, as to not escalating that any further so that I could just simply complete my work in a public space. It's a limited public forum. They can't restrict my recording in a publicly accessible place. Now back in people's offices and whatnot, sure, that's totally uh, fine. Not into open places, but wow, incredible. So. Uh, comment below what you guys think. Um, I'll have that information uh, available uh, for you guys in the description. If you want to uh, petition your government, in this case the school district, to seek redress of grievances, you can do so. Um, definitely going to file a complaint myself. Pretty evident that wasn't going to go anywhere in terms of having um, 